I am here with two highly rated sunscreen products from Paula's Choice. I usually, when I do research on skincare products, I usually do go to Paula's Choice or EWG or both uh, just to check out the chemical content and the natural ingredients in it. And these are all both pretty highly rated, especially you just kiss my face. Face Factor sunscreen. I'm going to start off with the Aloe Botanica Very Emollient Sunscreen Fragrance Free. This actually wasn't the most highly rated sunscreen on Paula's Choice. Um, it's just their product, the Very Emollient Sunscreen Fragrance Free Mineral Protection one, SPF 30, this is also SPF 30, was rated more highly. That one was green. And of course, I think it has all to do with the fact that that's mineral based. This is this is a combination of natural and uh, chemical sunscreen, I think. I can read to you the description here. It is fragrance-free, water-resistant for 80 minutes, biodegradable, gluten-free, no parabens, phthalates, or animal testing, 100% vegetarian ingredients. Of course, it's broad spectrum, or should be. You know, it doesn't say that. That's kind of odd. Oh, it is. Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this retails for, I'm not really sure, I got it for the grand old price of $1.99 and that is the main reason I picked up this one and not the mineral one because it was dead cheap, uh, was $5.99. So I'm going to assume that the green one is also, the green mineral, mineral um, based sunscreen is also $5.99. The difference between this and the green one, which is the most highly rated um, Aloe Botanica one, and like one of the top sunscreens that Paula's Choice rates every year, is that this contains, first of all, chemical sunscreens and also plant irritants. I guess some of the plant ingredients I just read to you can be somewhat irritating to some people. This is fragrance free though, and I actually really enjoy this sunscreen. I don't like sunscreen in general. I don't like the sticky feeling. But this is actually pretty, it's very thick, well, it's not very, very, it's not the thickest ever, but it's, it's thick, and, okay, I'm so tan. It rubs away really, it's very, like, moisturizing feeling, which is nice. I like that it doesn't have any fragrance, it just smells like lotion, like fragrance lotion. And it is a little bit sticky, but it's not nearly as sticky as most. I think it dries down pretty nicely. So that is the Aloe Botanica Very Emollient Sunscreen. I really like this. Um, I would love to check out the mineral one after I finish this one up. And the second product is the Kiss My Face Sunscreen Face Factor with Ultra Moisturizing Hydrasia, uh, 30, SPF 30, Face and Neck Protection, Broad Spectrum, Water Resistant for 40 minutes. Um, this is like one of the top rated uh, SPF moisturizers for the face um, on Paula's Choice. If you've been watching my videos well, you'll know that I was using the Trader Joe's um, Enrich Lotion with SPF 15 or 30, and I used that for like two or three years. I really enjoyed that. It was very moisturizing. It's really light, but <coughs> it contained um, retinal palmitate, which doesn't mix well with um, them, like it helps absorb the UV rays rather than like repel them. So I went on a search for a new SPF and this is the one I found. I got this for I think $7.99 which is pretty dead cheap for what this is. I got this on Vitacost. Um, I think it usually retails for like $11 or $12 and this is 2 ounces. Um, they have it in the 1 ounce packages but I, I go through this stuff pretty quickly, relatively quickly so I got the 2 ounce one. And I know this is only SPF 30, but the SPF 30 actually comes more highly rated than the SPF 50 in this product because the SPF 50 contains lavender oil, and that can be irritating to some people, and it's like a fragrance. So uh, let me read you some of the ingredients or some of the descriptions. No parabens, no oxybenzone, fragrance-free, no animal ingredients or testing. I've been using this on and off for about a month or two now and I really like it. At first I started breaking out but I don't think it was related to this because I've been using this recently and it hasn't caused any breakouts. So this is what it looks like and it's quite thick if you can see that. Um, and it feels a little bit waxy like it's got beeswax in it even though I don't think it does. 
but it doesn't leave any white cast. It's basically fragrance and sweet, and I find that it really creates a nice smooth base for anything I put over it. So that is a plus. It's kind of, I mean, it's a little bit waxy slash silicone, I suppose you could say, so somewhat like a primer. I really like this. Uh, I will probably repurchase. I don't think, I mean, I think something is one of those things that's really difficult to find a good one of, um, especially for a budget price. Like I said, I got this for about $8 on by the cost, but it usually retails for like 11 or $12. Oh, by the way, I said I broke out when I first started using this. I think it's because I was traveling a lot, but as of now, everything is fine. It has nothing to do with this product. I hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, thanks for watching and for subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.